Hey everyone, I'm Nathan with the ebookreader.com. For this review, I'm going to show you guys how to install Google Play on Fire tablets. So I just got done installing it here on the 2017 uh, $49 Fire, and it's the same exact process as it was for the older Fire tablets. So I'm going to show you how it works here on the Fire HD8. I haven't installed it on it yet, so it's really easy. First step, you have to go into settings, um, security, and then you got to turn on apps from unknown sources so that you can install you know, apps from unknown, source, unknown sources. So uh, once you have that enabled, then we can download the four needed apps and to install Google Play on the Fire tablet. So uh, this will work with, like I said, with any of uh, the uh, 2017 Fire tablets or the earlier models as well, as long as they're running Fire o OS uh, 5.0. So you can check that in the settings menu, what uh, version your Fire tablet is running. I think this exact method works on, it will work on the original $49 Fire. I think it even works on like the previous generation. So once you download the file, you just tap on it. It's super easy. Then just hit install. No problem at all. So you could just use the stock web browser on the Fire tablet. You don't have to install any apps from the uh, Amazon store or anything. So sometimes you used to have to install a file manager app, but you don't need to do that anymore. You can just use the web browser. Just download these four apps and it's very important that you install them in the order they're listed. So we'll just start from the top, work our way down, install one app at a time. So each time you click on the link, it will give the the warning, this type of file can harm your device. So you gotta click on that. So like I said, you can swipe down to access the notification or you can just hit it right there when it says it's downloaded and hit open. So there are different ways you can access it. You don't need to use a file manager anymore. So we already got two down. Let's go for the third one. All right, so once we get this third one downloading, uh, I'll show you another way to access your files as well. So the last couple, I uh, used the notification to open the uh, file to install. So there's, there's a third way you can do it as well. Uh, you can access uh, all your uh, downloads from the uh, Silk browser. You could just have to swipe left uh, from the edge up here. You just swipe left, and it will open this other menu. And if you hit the download section, it keeps track of your downloads. So you just have to tap on these to install. Uh, this one is going to be a few more seconds. So when you're installing this third one, it takes quite a bit longer to install than the other two. Uh, and then the fourth one, it takes a little while too, but the third one takes the longest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward here because it's just like a minute of this going on. So that's done. Actually, I'm going to jump ahead to installing the fourth app since it's just me downloading again. So I'll go ahead and install this fourth app and then we'll be good to go. So uh, this one, it takes like 30 seconds. It'll be done here in a second. So once you have all four apps installed, all we've got to do now is step three, which is restart and sign in. So all we got to do is just turn off your tablet. So don't launch those apps yet. We need to restart the tablet first. So just power it off, then power it back up. And then it should be good to go. You can launch your Google app or a Google Play Store app. Just come down and launch the app. And then it will take like another minute to like go through this process of like checking your info. It's probably updating those apps since they're older. But uh, so this will take like a minute. It will ask you to sign in. Uh, then once you sign in with your Google account, that's it. Um, Play Store is loaded up, ready to go. So you can start installing apps. You can install other Google apps. So that really helps expand the functionality of these uh, Fire tablets. You can install, you know, uh, YouTube, you can install, I really like the Chrome browser, so I install the Chrome browser. Um, you can install these other Google apps and they'll work fine on here. You can log in with your account and that will be it. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I'll have the link to those files to that page in the description.